Without its pedestal, the Lichtenberg statue is about 1 meter and 50 high, which equals Lichtenberg's actual size. It shows him holding a ball with both a plus and a minus, symbolizing the fact that he proved the bipolarity of electricity. But Lichtenberg is not the only frozen person at the old market. The Goose Girl called Goose Lizzie or the Gänseliese. In 1901, the sculptor Paul Nisse built a fountain with a bronze statue of a young girl which quickly became the town's landmark. Soon, it became a tradition for every freshman to give the girl on the fountain a kiss right after the enrollment. But in 1926, there was a ban that prohibited the kissing of the Goose Girl. The same year, one of the students who was caught trying to kiss her filed a suit against the ban and demanded kiss freedom. But he lost in court and had to pay 10 mark and the ban was valid until 2001. The tradition to kiss the goose girl continued to exist despite the ban. However, the tradition changed over the years. Today, only freshly graduated PhD students climb up the fountain to give Lizzie a kiss on her cheek after receiving their doctor's degree. Due to this tradition, she's also known as the most kissed girl in the world. Want to have a fantastic view over the city center? We go and climb the perfect tower for you. The St. Jacobi Church, a Gothic church, was built as a place of prayer for pilgrims, especially the ones that were on their way to the grave of the Apostle Jacobus in Santiago de Compostela. From 72 meters height, you've got a fantastic view all over Göttingen. From here, you can also see the nearby Burner Quarter, where we will take you now. Come on! The quarter is named after a butcher, Christian Burner, who arrived in Göttingen in 1884 and after a successful start of his business, he bought an old house built in the 16th century and neighboring properties in the Barfüßerstraße. In former times, it was the quarter of Franciscan monks who all went barefoot. This is the origin of the street name. This quarter is popular nowadays for its courtyards. Here you can even find a gallery and relax from the crowded main streets. You can have drinks and food from a restaurant or the popular bar Dots. From time to time you can also enjoy live music as well as art exhibitions. At the Wilhelmsplatz you can also find the old campus dining hall. Originally, this building used to be a student dormitory, but was remodeled into a dining hall. After that, it was extensively renovated and now it functions as one of the university's festive locations. In 1837, on the occasion of the university's 100th jubilee, the assembly hall, or the aula as we call it, was inaugurated. It was a gift from King William IV of Great Britain and Hanover. The university had been in need of a representative building in order to host official events and festivities. The square in front of the assembly hall is named after him, the Wilhelmsplatz. You can find a statue in his honor opposite the historical building. In the assembly hall's basement, parts of the old university prison were preserved. In the past, the university had sole jurisdiction over its students. From 1737 until 1933, students had to serve a sentence in there when they misbehaved. Overall, 34,000 days of arrest were spent in the cells. The Göttinger Karzer is one of the best preserved university prisons and it's famous for its countless drawings and scribblings on its cell walls. Linen and firewood had to be brought along by the wrongdoers. Food could be ordered and alcohol was allowed. Either a bottle of beer or half a bottle of wine for each, lunch and dinner. One of the much punished offenses had to do with horses. Speaking of which, we've got a real special one to show you. The golden horse at the entrance to Kulp's garages. Ernst Kulp was the one who started to work on public transport after the First World War. At first, he worked with cabs. A few years later he started to use taxis and then in 1925 he organized the first bus. Over the years public transport continuously grew. By the way, the central station in those days was the Gänseliesel, since the Wenderstraße was not yet a pedestrian zone. In our next video we'll take you, not by horse but by bike, or as we say wire donkey, to the most green places in and around town.